Oh, hello there. I'm so sorry, I have not fucking posted, Jesse. Can you just stay consistent? No. No, I can't. Honestly, there's so many things that have been happening, but like the quick synopsis of this, because I don't think I'm gonna say this on my main channel because I don't want the backlash. Number one, this election had got me fucked up. Okay, I was fucked up. Not for any particular reason, it was just so much stress and people were like fighting and hating each other and it just made me feel really uncomfortable and I didn't want to post during that time. Maybe you think that's wrong, maybe you think I should have posted, I don't know, I just didn't feel right posting while everyone else was like fucking slitting each other's throats. So, the election was number one and number two, Two, my boyfriend came to Miami to visit me and so I wanted to cuddle. That's no excuse, okay? I understand, but I did want to cuddle really bad. But don't worry, I'm gonna be going to Los Angeles tomorrow and that's not gonna change the fact that on Thursday there's gonna be a video and everything's gonna be fine. So I'm really sorry, guys. It's, it's hard for me sometimes. I'm, I'm, I'm a lazy person, okay? I said it. But anyway, let's just get into this video. I don't want to stall anymore. I am going to be doing a first impressions on the Nikki Tutorials Power of Makeup palette. This is not mine. I bought this for my mom and she lent it to me for this video. So, yes, it's been used. Yes, it doesn't look brand new because it's not, but I had never swatched it. I had never really even seen the colors other than at Ulta when I bought it. When I started this video, I didn't remember what kind of colors there were or anything like that. And I used it for this eye look that I have on right now. I hate disclaimers. I hate like being like, I'm so sorry I have an opinion, but this is just my opinion, okay? Don't get your titties in a bunch if this is your favorite palette or your least favorite palette and I think differently than you. But this is just what I think of the palette, okay? Everybody likes different shit. I had no bias towards this palette. I know it sparked controversy, but I'm not really sure why. Like I don't like follow the beauty guru drama. If you have a different opinion than me, I encourage you to leave it down below. Let's talk, let's have a conversation and you guys give your honest opinion on this palette so that people who don't want to waste their hard-earned money can go down below and gather everyone's opinions and then make an informed opinion of their own. So yeah, without further ado, is that the saying? Further ado or is it further or do? Let's just get on with the video. Okie dokie. I turned down the brightness a little bit so you guys can get a more like accurate representation of the colors that I'm going to be putting on my face, but I did prime my eyes with Urban Decay primer. Who's calling me? I did prime my eyes with Urban Decay's primer potion in Eden, but that's all I've done. I haven't used any powders on my eyes, nothing, but I figured that's better than trying this with no primer potion or no primer at all because, I mean, what the fuck is the point of that? So the palette is a little dirty, and my mom told me to clean it. She's gonna be pissed, but I have not looked inside of it. I've, like, seen it from afar when I bought it for my mom, but I haven't actually gotten a good look at these colors, and right off the bat, I don't see like a whole lot that I would use. That's not like a bad thing because this could be like somebody's cup of tea. I just want to see how the eyeshadows work, but usually I use like a really warm transition shade. So my eyes like go towards this orange heart, which is it a blush or I don't know. Let's try it. I think I'm going to use this little Zoeva Luxe soft crease brush and I'm going to dip it in that orange, but I don't know what's going to happen. Ooh. Okay. Right off the bat, like when I dip it into the color and then I put it off on my hand, I don't, you guys probably can't see that, but there's just like powder everywhere. So I hope that doesn't happen on my eye, but let's see. Okay, I like that. It's like pretty orange. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a blush, but I actually... I could work with that. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely different than what I would normally use. It's pretty orange, but maybe I can use one of the browns to kind of make it a little bit more cool than this because this is like an orange. It applies pretty well. I don't see anything. I don't see anything wrong with it. I like it. It blends out nicely. I don't know. I like it. So now let me see. I'm going to grab a different brush. This is a I don't I don't know brush. I think I got this from Coastal Scents, but honestly, who could be sure? And I'm going to grab this color. I should say the colors, right? <laughs> good job, Jesse. Such a good beauty guru. I'm going to get Painkiller and a little bit of I Will Always Love You and see if I can like mix these two to make a more, I don't know, less orange transition shade. Um, uh, no. 
<laughs> I don't like those colors mixed together at all, but now I did it on this eye, so I must do it on this eye. It's kind of starting to look a little muddy, so maybe don't do that. Maybe don't mix those two. Oh god, <laughs> what have I done? I'm just gonna use my Makeup Forever blending brush, and I'm gonna blend this out so it's not so crazy. I guess the thing is I don't see a lot of practical shades for me like for what I do every day I don't see this being a palette that I can just like take on the go and then this is all I need to bring at all. If anything I could see myself using this palette for like maybe this purple or maybe this but never using all of it for one look. But I'm remaining optimistic so far it's applying okay. So I'm going to grab what am I gonna grab? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna grab this Zoeva Luxe crease brush and I'm gonna dip it into makeup and chill which is a that's a cute name. I'm gonna tap off the excess and put it off in the back of my hand a little bit. And let me see what this do. Okay. <laughs> I know I sound underwhelmed, but it's not like super patchy or noticeably like crazy fallout or anything like that. But I guess I'm just not like super in love with any of the colors in this palette, so it's just a little bit underwhelming. But the actual application is pretty decent. I like it. I feel so weird whenever I change my eyeshadow colors. I just feel like an alien. I'm gonna go back in with the first brush that I used, and I'm gonna go back into that orange, the I Will Always Love You color. And I'm gonna blend all of this a little bit more and make it like a little bit more warm because I'm starting to get a little a little swampy. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like if I don't use some sort of warm color then it just comes out weird. I might be fucking crazy but that's just what I think. So one of the things that I actually use to decide whether or not I want to buy a palette for myself is the lighter colors in the palette. I always make sure that it has like a cream color. I don't like white. I like nice creams, beiges, just things that blend and look a little bit more natural when you're doing makeup. I don't know. Just things that blend a little bit better, look a little bit more natural, and just help things look seamless rather than like stark, if that makes any sense. And I don't see that for me in this palette. This color is very white. I don't I don't know if it's a yeah yeah that's white it's called ivy i'm gonna use it for the sake of this video but i would never use this i could totally see why some people would be into this it's just i don't know white's not my thing but let's see oh god okay oh wow <laughs> that is very white okay i'm just gonna blend my transition shade up a bit into that white and kind of run over it to make it a little bit more natural looking. The only color that I see feasible for my lids here for me, again, because my taste is irresistible. I usually use a bronze or gold. Not usually this gold, but this looks like a really pretty color. I haven't swatched it yet. I'm gonna use a brush uh, to see how it comes off. This is MAC 239, and I'm gonna go into that color, irresistible. Ow, I just hit myself in the face. And I just spit everywhere. I don't know if you guys caught that. But I'm gonna go into irresistible, tap off the excess, and let's see. Oh, that's a pretty color. That's pretty. Definitely for nighttime, I could see myself using that color. I wouldn't use it in the daytime just because it's a little flashy for the daytime, but for nighttime, I could totally see myself using this. It really catches the light and it's really pretty. All right, let me go in with that transition shade and kind of make everything come together a little bit more. I don't know. All right, let me not speak too soon. Let me just finish this makeup. I know that they had Too Faced shadow insurance in this bag. Okay, so it comes with a little bag thing. I know for a fact it comes with primer because I remember seeing that on the like outside box when I bought it for my mom. Let's actually just look at what's inside of that little extra bag right now because from the Vegas Nay palette that she collabed with Too Faced on, oh my god, I loved the extras. Like her glitter was amazing and everything. So I see right off the bat this also comes with a glitter and it's called Glitterly, which is a super cute name. Let's see it. Oh, that's pretty. I would never use this. <laughs> it's like really chunky iridescent glitters. Well, it's not really chunky. It's like medium chunky, but it's silver and I don't wear silver eyeshadow. It comes with a Too Faced sketch marker. Ooh, yeah, that's black as shit. That's awesome. Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Didn't use this because I do not like this. I've tried it before. And better than Sex Mascara, which is fucking amazing. I don't know if I... What? It's purple. Holy shit, it's fucking purple. I was not expecting that, but um, I'm gonna try that on my lower lashes, see what happens. So those are like the extras that you get in this little bag, and I think that's a cute addition, but um, out of these four things in this bag, I personally would only use two, and that would be the eyeliner and the mascara, probably. I don't even know if I would use the mascara because it's purple, but I do like that shit sometimes. 
but that's the way all palettes are like all palettes lean towards one way either they're more cool or they're more warm or like whatever not everybody's gonna like every palette okay so let me just finish up this eye look I do want to do like a pop of color on the bottom since there is color in this palette and I never use color but you know what I'm feeling a little feisty today first I'm gonna go in with like a little smudger brush and I'm gonna take that first color that I will always love you the orangey color and I'm gonna first use that as just a like a I don't know I don't even know why I do that. I just always use my transition color under, but now that I just realized I wanted to do the pop of color, I don't know why I did that. I'm fucking everything up. I think I want to do the purple. I have green eyes, and purple looks good with green. So here we go. This is called Wham Bam. Oop. Right there. I never use color. This is like super adventurous for me. I feel crazy. Oh my god. Oh, shit balls. Oh, fuck me in the ass. Mm, okay, Jesse, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. You're not gonna die. Ah! I mean, I guess it doesn't look horrible. I don't know. You guys will let me know if it looks horrible. Okay, that's actually cute. I think. I don't know. Okay, I kind of like it. I'm gonna use the color Champagne Truffle, and I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. I always do that with my pinky finger. I don't know why, but I do. And that's pretty. Have they had this color in other palettes? I feel like they have. Wow, Jesse, really? You have this shit in front of your face the whole time? Nice. I'm gonna use a little bit of the mascara on my bottom lashes. Fucking love talking like this. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Ooh, okay, I really like that. I feel like this is gonna make my eyes look so green. Fucking love it. Fucking love it. So, I think I'm done. I think that's the finished look that I'm gonna go with for the uh, Nikki Tutorials palette. Do you like it? All right, so let's get into my opinion on this palette and I'm gonna be extremely honest with you guys. I have no bias towards this palette. Honestly, I have not seen reviews. This is my honest opinion. I bought this with my own money. Okay, I was not sent this. Well, I didn't buy it for myself. I bought it for my mom, but you know, I bought it. And honestly, do I think it is worth the money? That depends. Although I like the look that I made with this palette, although I enjoy the way my eyes look right now, and I think the purple mascara is actually amazing, but I could totally see other people not liking it. Like my mom told me that she was not gonna ever use that, so <laughs> I think I'm gonna steal it. But I think it really depends on you. If you're looking at these shadows and you're like, oh, I totally use silvers and navy blues like all the time, then I could totally see why you would want this palette. In my opinion, I could create the same look with other palettes that I have that have purples that have certain colors that are in this palette but also have the other colors that I like more like the warmer shades that are better in my opinion than this orange I will always love you color so it really depends on your preference like I know that's such an annoying thing to say but it's, it's the truth I mean I would never buy this for myself not because it doesn't perform well but because I don't use these colors and that's common sense don't waste your money if you don't use the colors don't waste your money for someone's name just because it's a Nikki tutorials palette doesn't mean anything Thing. As far as the pigmentation of this palette, I actually don't know my opinion. Let me tell you right now. I'm gonna swatch. <laughs> wow, really good placement on those colors there, girlfriend. I didn't use the black, but from my swatch, the black is not super pigmented by any means. I didn't use the blush. I'm assuming these two are blushes, but I didn't use either of those on my cheeks because I don't like any of these colors for my cheeks. If I were to ever use that pink, it would be on my eyes, and I would never use that pink on my eyes, so this would never get used. Out of this entire palette, I would say I would only use like four to five shades of it, but that's like stretching it out. I know myself, and I would not use any of these. The only one I might actually like come to this palette to use is Irresistible, which is the gold shade, the gold metallic shade, but that would only be for nighttime because like I said, I don't think it looks good for the daytime. And as far as the little perks go, um, the glitter is a little chunky for my taste and also it's silver and I don't like silver glitter. It does have like an iridescence, like in the light, it kind of looks like blue and green and shit. Not my cup of tea. I don't really wear eyeliner, but if I did, I would definitely use a felt tip liner, so this would get used. I mean, kind of. And the purple mascara I do really like because I have green eyes and purple looks good with green eyes and I could see myself, even in my more neutral looks, like my more warm neutral looks, I can just pop on like purple mascara and it'll make my eyes look more green without having to put purple eyeshadow underneath or on my eye in general. So all in all, I think it's a good performing palette. I'm not blown away by it, but it's, I mean, it's not bad. I can't come on here and say like anything about the palette is bad because it's absolutely not. It's not my cup of tea. My my mom really likes the shadows. My mom loves it. She's actually been like begging for me to give her this back because I've had this for like five days waiting to review it or like give my first impression thoughts or whatever. But my mom's also someone who 
uses these colors. So if this is your cup of tea, these colors, then uh, go for it, girlfriend. Oh god, that was, that was weird. But anyway, those are my thoughts on the Too Faced Power of Makeup Nikki Tutorials palette. If you guys like this palette, let me know down below why you like this palette. If you don't like this palette, let me know down below why you don't like this palette. But all in all, do I feel like this is an essential palette to have? No, I don't. But if you have the money and you like the shadows, Fuck it. I mean, do, I mean, whatever. To me, I would say like an essential palette would be like the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, things like that, that have those colors that you need. You can create different kinds of looks, but they have like all the staple colors in one palette. Palettes to me are just not worth it unless you like like 70% at least of the shadows. If you're only gonna use a few of them, just don't buy the fucking palette. It's not worth it. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel because I put out new videos every Monday and Thursday and I will see you on Thursday. Bye.